Good morning, guys. It's Sonia. How are you this morning? Let's see. Go tell me. I think it's Wednesday. I'm telling you, time is flying. Hello, Brenda. Good morning. She says, good morning, all. Hey, Naomi. How are you this morning? Rise and shine. It's time to grind, right? I am happy to be here this morning. I want to talk a little bit about you guys today to help you in your business. I got a topic I want to talk on, but I think it's going to make more sense to you if I put out this question first, because we're all different people, right? Hi, Jocelyn. Good morning. Shonda's on here. Coffee check. Ready to go with her GWSM friends. Oh, 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 that, that's big. Man, that's right. Bro, it's Sonya Miller. Thank you for being here. And if you don't know that I'm going live right here, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, hanging out with my best creative friends, live drinking coffee, talking about ways we can grow our businesses together and helping each other, making community, making friends, good business buddies. Oh, did you see that we got the community tab yesterday? So I put in a post. Hopefully you didn't miss it. Um, if you go to whether you're in your laptop or on your phone, you're going to want to scroll and find it. And I put up a call yesterday and I said, Tell me your name and your business. Drop it like it's hot. Like it's hot. Let me find it for you real quick and go give you a quick visual on it. Did you find it? I don't know if it only pops up if you're subscribed or not. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can be part of the community tab. And let me get to it real quick. But did you find it yesterday? I am sure. Look at my new mug. This is the one I got yesterday. I filmed my vlog yesterday with this new mug that I got for all of $2.98 at Pier 1 and uh, love it, oversized. I was saying yesterday in the blog, what is your requirement when you get a mug for coffee? For me, I don't like a small mug because I tend to put a lot of stuff into it and then it overflows. <laughs> so what about you guys? What uh, is your your definite that you're going to need if, you, uh, if you're having coffee in the morning and you have a mug? What's your favorite mug? All right, trying to get to the my channel here. Okay, awesome. So I just pull up my channel here so you can see what I'm talking about if you don't know. So right here at the top, do you see all these tabs? It says home, videos, playlist, community. So you're going to go to the top right there. All right. And if you're subscribed, it sends you notifications when there's activity, when I am when I like post stuff, videos, anything like that onto the channel. So if you subscribe, you'll get notified. So yesterday, look at this, 10 of you guys, and there's more here. So you obviously missed it. I put up yesterday as a test right here, a picture, and I said, post your, down here, do you see the comments down there? I said, post your your name and your business, you know, who's tuning in from where? A great way to network, get to know each other, and uh, find each other's businesses. So make sure you go check that out. So I want to ask you guys today, oh, do you did you hear that? Same thing. So when you're on your laptop, go look for that bar that runs across the top and click it right there. Because every day I'm going to be posting stuff. It could be motivational quotes. It could be anything that I put on there, just something to help you. It's your it's your hub to keep you in focus, right? Great tips. What's really nice now is if I read any like really cool articles about business or anything like that, I can put stuff like that in there. So it's a way to supplement what we're doing here as a community, right? Maybe I'm just trying to think. Naomi says she still can't see hers. You know, it's possible. I just got the alert today that my community tab showed up yesterday. <laughs> so sometimes, sometimes apps can do that, right? So I don't know. Maybe if you, I'm just trying to think. Did you turn your phone on and did you turn it back on, right? Just something just to let it reboot or sign out and sign back in. Sometimes that triggers um, apps like that, right? Uh, the mug needs to be big, heavy, and fit in my hand perfectly. Preferably, it would have shabby flowers on it. Oh, my gosh. Love it. Love it. Okay, Rashonda found it in her feed. Good deal. So that's where you always go to look for it. We'll take care of it after the chat. Sounds good. So let's chat a little bit this morning. I'm going to talk about something that you're, you might be missing. Maybe maybe you have it. Maybe you don't. But this, this could be like one of the it factors for you. Okay, so I want to talk to you about um, about CTAs, calls to actions. But first, in order to show you how this is going to be, you're going to personalize it for yourself. Let's get to know everybody here on the live this morning. And let me ask you, okay? Let me ask you, what is it, it one thing that you would like to do for your business right now? Like what is one area that you would like, man, like I wish I had more X, Y, Z. Like for example, I wish I had more followers right? Or more people who like my page. Um, I wish I had more sales. Like, what is it for you? Um, I wish I had more people reading my blog post. 
I, I wish I had more fill in the blank, anything there, right? Like when you think about your business, what is one thing that you would like to see grow the theme here of our channel? What is one thing that you would like to see grow specifically? Okay. And when I, I mean, like, so if you say, like Debbie said sales, so does that mean that you have stuff for sale right now and it's available? All right. Like you, you're doing the work. It's there, but you're like, come on, grab it, take it home. Like, please take it off my hands. I want to sell the stuff, right? You know, like you have stuff already in place and you just want people to grab it, gravitate towards it. And you need them to like, this is the thing that you want them to do. Take action on. You wish you had more people going to your website to check it out because maybe now you're, you're not only working on Etsy and selling there on the online marketplace, maybe you're trying to create your own website and you're like, I just need more people to like come and get eyeballs on my website. Like, tell me specifically, what is something that you have in place? And you're like, gosh, darn it, people go check it out. Go do this stuff. Right? Like, I just wish more people. Jocelyn says, I wish I had more sales and more people watch the lives and engage. Okay, good one. Absolutely. Barb says sales. So she's got stuff ready and raring to go. Uh, let's see here. Judy, when you say post, what do you mean by that? What specifically would you like to see people do in regards to your post? Kim says more followers. Pam says more followers. Jacqueline says more engagement and more feedback. Oh, those are good. Okay. More followers, more sales. Hey, Paul, good morning. Thanks for being on here with us. I'm asking this morning, if you're just joining us, what is something that you want to see change in your business? Like you want to see an improvement on, like you have this over here, but nobody is doing this. Like, you know, I'm just trying to, I wrote a bunch of stuff down there, right? Like maybe you want to work with people. You want people to take advantage of you in terms of hire me for your services. I need more people to hire me to come in and paint X, Y, Z, or hire me to bake a cake for their wedding or, you know, have me to like do some custom jewelry for them. Hire me to be their virtual assistant. Buy my ebook. Take my course. Listen to my podcast. What is something that you're doing actively right now in business? And it's there. It's just a grab and go. You've already done the work. And you just wish more people would show up. More people would do it. Do you want more people to come to the restaurant that you have to fill the seats that you just did? What is it? Do you want, to, do you want people to give you more pre-orders for something that you're working on coming up? Jan says more engagement, more sales, uh, more, more likes and hearts, more followers, more followers, more visits to my Etsy shop. Paul says, I struggle to get people to watch my YouTube videos. Absolutely. Uh, let's see here. Any other ones? Sales to an online paint group. That's something specific, right? You want them to, to take action on something specific. So we're all different. We all set our business up in different ways. So the topic I'm about to talk to you about, you have to identify one thing, okay? And this is the thing, all right? So when I said to you, when I said to you, and this is where you guys are going to have to, as your daily business coach, I'm going to give it to you straight, okay? A confused mind is, not, is it's hard for a confused mind to buy, all right? Case in point, I'm in the paint world. Apply it to anything. If you go out, you know, the best, the best, the best restaurants have a very limited menu selection. People come in, they make a quick, they make a quick decision and they're on their way, right? A lot of the ingredients are shared in the kitchen. So it's not like there's, there's so many groceries that the kitchen has got to buy that they're, they're, they're spoiling before they even get them made. Simple, right? Think about like your best places. Like, I don't know, Chipotle, 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 however you say it, you know, uh, think about five guys and fries. Think about the most basic places that you go to. And it's very, very simple, right? So we have to get very, very simple as well. Keep it simple, sweetheart, in business. And it doesn't come down to, you know, having, oh my gosh, you have a million of things on the go. Your, your business eventually builds where you have a lot of different ways that you need to grow in, that your areas of your business, arms of revenue. But when you're talking to somebody, just like when I say I'm talking to you, I keep it on one topic a day. When I start going into all these topics and you're like, whoa, Mind blown on the CTA, Sonia. Now you're talking about, I don't know, click funnels over here. Like I can't digest it all, right? Because that's just the way our brain works. And so when I say to you, what is one thing that you want to get better at in your business? All right. Some of you guys listed two or three things, but I'm trying to help you be specific and really zone in and focus on one thing. Because if you want your, your audience to take action, you have also got to make sure that they zone in and focus on one thing. Thing, okay. 
So you said all these things right here that you want to grow. That means for each of us, we have something different that we're working on this week. Somebody's trying to grow more likes and followers on their Facebook page. Somebody's trying to get more sales to their Etsy page. We all saw all of that below, right? And that's what success means to us individually this week. So the next step that I want my customers, my fans, my followers, my subscribers, um, you know, however you want to refer to the people, your tribe that follow you every single day, your online friends that support you in business. The thing that I might want my followers to do is going to be different than what you want your followers to do. Right. Which is a case in point why we should never, ever try to imitate somebody else's business because we're all growing at different rates. And we get our own all have our own thing that we're trying to to actually grow. Right. So number one, pick one of those things that you just said out there, okay, in the comment section. I wrote down my best tips for a CTA and what the heck it even is. A CTA is basically call to action. What do you want your people to do next? What is their next step? Do you remember when I trained you guys on here and I told you how just asking a question can explode your engagement? How's that working for you out there? Tell me what you're seeing when you're asking questions. Are you getting answers from people that never ever responded before? Are you getting comments left that you never, ever uh, had before? Is dialogue starting below your videos now that you did not have before? It's because we're asking people, right? We're asking people and we're having that two-way conversation. The same thing works with a CTA. I can sit here all day and use mind powers on you. Oh, friends, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do you feel the vibes? I'm like putting it out there right now. So if you're on the other side of this video, I hope you're picking up what I'm laying down because I'm sending you right now my power vibes from my mind. Go, go subscribe to my channel. All right, subscribe to my channel. Um, if I only think that and I don't actually tell you, then there's a gap there, right? If I'm posting a picture and I would love to hear from you, but I never say to the question to you. So what do you think of this? Yay or nay for you, yellow or red, coffee or tea. I can sit here all day long, but unless I have that interaction back, <clears throat> unless I'm asking you to do something, I'm never going to know. Unless you ask your people to do something that you'd really like them to do, then how are they going to know? They don't know if you want to grow your Etsy, Etsy this week. They don't know if you want to have more hearts and likes, like somebody said, more hearts and thumbs up on the engagement that you're putting out there, right? So we have to take time to work on, and this is where strategy and business comes, right? Yes, you're the maker, say it with me. Yes, you're the creator, but you're also the marketer and you're also the promoter. So if you worked in the corporate world this week, they're so far out. I mean, they, they develop themes of the week. They develop, um, you know, stuff that's coming out in season before the season even comes, right? At least for the very least, you should do your best to think about the week upcoming. And this past week, I told you about going into Google, going into getting some free printables, you know, a free calendar, a content calendar that you can develop for yourself where you start to write out what it is that you're going to do. So you sit down and you have a meeting with yourself. So, you know, I'm always somebody, I'm just not somebody who focuses on the negative. So I, I'm, if anytime anybody says to me something negative, I'm, I'm a yeah, but kind of girl. All right. So if you say here and you say, yeah, but it's only me. How am I going to figure this out? Yeah, but it's only you. So you can figure this out like right now and figure out what you want to do once you have the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Know what you got to do. And then you can figure something out for the weekend. You don't have to have board meetings. You don't have to like seriously start planning now for the next season because you can have a meeting with yourself upstairs and execute it now. So what I'm saying is when you think about what it is it that you want to grow on personally, okay, whatever it is, whether it's whether it's on social media or it's something off of social media, whatever the goal is that you want, more views, more clicks, whatever, all right, then you got to think to yourself, when I put my content out this week, then I got to make sure that I just don't put it out there and, you know, wish and hope and pray, all right? What we got to do is put it out there and then we've got to follow up with a CTA, a call to action and ask people to take the next logical step that we'd like to see them take, okay? Because the next step that they might think that is, is great, it's great, but it doesn't help you get closer to your goal. So really trying to zone in on what you want. So let's take the example of somebody wants more, more hearts and thumbs up, right? Then what are they going to do? They're going to sit down they're going to plan out and go, okay, I'm going to go live right here. Because remember, Sonia says the fastest way to grow your business other than paying for ads is going live video. Live video is free. I don't know about you, but I have learned in life 
that if something is out there and exists for you to take advantage of, it's free. It's a bell and whistle. Um, you know, somebody like Facebook puts out something and it's completely free and you don't doesn't cost you a thing. Jump on that thing. They would love to see you use their bell and whistle. Right. They're going to promote you even further. And it's free because what happens? We don't know what happens with social media. Right. I mean, think about MySpace. Think about pl uh, platforms that have been so big and so like you would never think life without it. I mean, there's stores that close today and you're like, I never thought I would see the day. They've just always been there. Right. And we think that we have this sense of, well, I, I can work on doing that. I'll go live. I don't know. I'll work on it in the next six months. In the next six months, who's to say anything is even going to be there for you to go live on, right? And side note, if that ever goes away, if you only put your eggs all in that basket and that basket collapses and goes away because you're using somebody else's platform, what else do you have left for yourself? Have you been busy over here? Sonia, as your daily business coach, is going to tell you to work on having your own piece of property, all right, your own land over here, your own real estate. So if this goes into foreclosure, if something that you're using to help better your company, like the vehicle of social media goes away, I'm still over here. I still own the ranch. OK, JunkMonkeyPaint.com is going strong. And that is why I never I never will put all my eggs in one basket. Right. And that could be my call to action. Right. Always letting people know JunkMonkeyPaint.com. This is where I live. This is my home. I play over here on social media, but. My hub is always my website, okay? That was a bit of a side note, but I just want you to know that social media can go away at any time, all right? And if you don't own it, if you don't, if, if it's not yours, it can be taken away. And so, you know what? For those of you who are like, I don't know if I should go live, do it, do it now because nothing is guaranteed and do it now, do it live, Get you know, just practice. People here who are practicing lives are still here. Like they're still living, like, Nothing has happened to them. Nothing bad has happened to them, right? They're still here. In fact, tell me, those of you who are going live for the first time, branching out, how was it? Are you still here with us? Was it nerve wracking? Did you get over it? And did it get easier as you go on, right? So take advantage now and put your call to action in amongst that live video. Live video is going to propel your message. What is your goal? Attach it to that message. What is your call to action? So when Sonya goes live this week, in working with those of you who said, I want more thumbs up and I want more hearts in my videos. I want more engagement. Then Sonia is going to say, okay, I'm going to plan a live this week. And I'm going to frost in those cup cupcakes. I'm going to show people how to, I don't know, use a, a Dollar Tree plastic bag to do some beautiful piping on a cake, whatever it is. I'm going to show people how to make a recipe on my channel, whatever it is, right? You're creating the content for people. And then what you want to do is in amongst that content, in, in your mind, you already have the strategy that if, oh boy, I wish these people who are watching right now, if each one of them just gave me a heart on a video, it would just mean so much to help me, it would mean, help my confidence. Because let's be honest, when you're putting yourself out there, don't you think that when I'm putting myself out there right now for you guys every single morning at 8 a.m. in the morning, sometimes before, you know, the brain's working before the mouth even does, and there's no script, we just go live and we chit chat. You know what? There's always a sense of, I don't know. I just, I just hope they like me, right? Don't you think that when people give you hearts and comments and they talk back to you, that that does not empower you to keep on going? So yeah, hearts are very nice to receive. Send me some hearts this morning. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and talk back to me right now, right? So when you're going live, it's okay for you to ask for hearts for a thumbs up. Guys, if you love what I'm doing right now, I would love it if you take a minute to give me a thumbs up or a heart because I started to say, Thumbs ups, ups, and hearts are awesome because it helps you. You're alone. I'm talking to a screen right now, all right? Everybody else is in bed. I'm the only one up right now, and I'm talking to a computer screen. Now, I know that you are out there. I know that there are beating hearts, and there are people with faces this morning out there, right? I, I know that, but still for all, I know how scary it is when you go live, and I know how lonely it is. That's why it's nice to have the interaction back. That's why it's nice to look into the comments and see that you guys are responding to what I'm saying. I know you're out there, right? So when you're going live, it is nice. You want hearts and that for your confidence to help you and go, people really do like what I'm doing. I'm going to do more of it, right? But it also helps you because we know strategically that um, if we're talking about Facebook here with likes and comments or any, honestly, any social media, uh, media platform, it, it's, it's a trigger to the platform to go, people really like this guy or girl. Okay, we should show her stuff to more people, right? So your call to action this week, and when you get shown to more people,
then there's a greater chance of people following you, finding you. You need people to find you, eyes on whatever it is that you have in order to keep your business doors open. I always say you can have the best product in the world. It could be made of gold. But if you're not marketing yourself, if you're not promoting yourself, do you remember the, the quote that I said way back when we first started this channel? I said, you know, if you're not even marketing yourself today, are you really even in business? Like that hits me at the core, right? Like if I don't get up today and do something for my business, am I really in business? If I want a business and I'm not even doing anything about it, am I really even in business? You know, we're sabotaging ourselves. So get up there and do something every day for your business that moves your business forward. So when you're going live, say, say mid live, say at the beginning, not, I wouldn't even say at the beginning. Okay. Let's be honest here because give people a chance to know if they like you or not. There's people who have been following you forever and they know what you stand for. But there's always new people coming on lives because as people give you thumbs up and interact with you, then all of a sudden the algorithm releases you a little bit more because it's got a proven track record. More people are now have the opportunity. You're in more people's feeds for them to click on your video and find you. It's a trigger effect, right? It's amazing. So, but say it towards the middle because the people who don't know you, you're going to have to give them something to show that, yeah, you're going to want to come back because if you love this, I do more of this, right? This is what I do. I give value in this particular area. I love to talk health and fitness. All right. So if I just told you something today to help you get better abs or um, something to help you reduce, you know, body fat or, you know, how to eat a more healthier breakfast. And I showed you a quick, simple recipe, how to do it. Then what I can say is, friends, if you loved what I just showed you, if you love this recipe, if you loved hanging out with me today, I would love it if you take a moment to give this video a thumbs up or leave me a heart below. And you can ask a question with that, of course. I'm a big person on questions. Talk back to the people, right? Talk back to the people. How Again, how is that questions question uh, working for you guys? Melissa says, is it okay to ask for sharing on Facebook? Of course it is. Absolutely. Now, you don't want to do it to, to the point where people are like, seriously, like, you know, you're, you are there to serve somebody. All right. Serve somebody. And then say, I would love it guys. If you're enjoying what we're doing right now, if you take a moment to share this video, honestly, people get really creative and they start to say different words. Like, you know, if you would bless this video, if you would sprinkle this video, <clears throat> I'm going to be honest with you. Remember how I said, sometimes we do, do things that confuse people. Just say, share this video. Honestly, like Facebook is pretty smart. Right? <laughs> And so don't confuse people, just say it. You know, I'd love if you take a moment to share this video. Some people have gotten really brilliant and they will put a sign up behind them and they'll say, take a moment to share or, you know, share this video. Just do, but just don't do something that's, that's spamish, okay? Remember, Facebook can detect sounds. Facebook can detect words. They can detect images before you even upload them. So sometimes we're thinking that we're going to outsmart something when really the program is like, you really thought, right? So I'm not going to be here with a giant board, billboard that says share this video, okay? Remember how we talked about the whole thing about the 20-80% the rule about Facebook in particular, how it, um, you know, it can detect when it's more than 20% text on it. Do you not think that those programs can detect when you're doing stuff? So just keep it simple. Like sometimes people do the most craziest things. And at the end of the day, just say like a normal person. Friends, I, if you're enjoying this video, I'd love it if you take a moment to share the video. That's not me jumping around with a million gazillion words that could mean, possibly mean. <laughs> Just say it. Say it. You're welcome. Creatively, Stacey says, I hate that. I've tried it. I prefer it. I'm sorry. I just... I, I just, I just, I just, I don't know. It's not me personally. I'm a just get to the point kind of girl anyhow. So when I start talking about like, you know, I would love it if you would, you know, whatever this video and it just sounds, it just, I don't know. It, to me, it just... Keep it professional. I would love it if you take a moment to share this video. If this has brought you value, if you have friends out there that would love to know how to do this with their kitchen table as well, if you have somebody out there who um, could really help because they have cabinets that just need some help, be sure to pass on the video. Be sure to share the video. Be sure, you know, but you're not going to spam your entire live or your entire wall saying it over and over again. Remember how I talked to you guys, which make sure this is my call to action to you guys right now because I practice what I preach teaching you stuff that works for me. What I say to you right now, go back and make sure you watch the other videos because one of the things I talked to you guys about was powering up your page, all right? If your page is on the floor, your post and stuff, and it's dead, it's a dead page, like literally you're posting nothing, 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 nothing. You gotta do some things to revive it, okay? Give it some orange juice, all right? Give it whatever it takes to help itself, pick itself off the floor. 
So then if your page is upstanding, all right, and outstanding, all right, and then you say the word share, yes, the algorithm will pick up what you're saying, all right, but you're not so far on the floor that it stays on the floor, all right? So power up your page, do the things that Facebook wants you to do. So then when you say the things that it doesn't like it to do, like it doesn't like it when you post links to outside pages. Does Sonia post links to outside pages every day? Yes, absolutely, right? Because I'm gonna tell you, you have to do that in order to grow your business. But what you don't wanna do is like I, I said, your, your Facebook right now, you haven't done the right things. You've done the wrong things for so long that you're, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. You're, and then it's just a waste of time. So go back. My call to action is go back, catch up on all these other videos because there's good information that I wish somebody had told me when I first started my business and stuff that I know now that I'm sharing with you guys. And if you're missing it, you could be missing something that could really take your page off the ground that you need to do. So go listen to me like a podcast. I always say, I don't care. Put me face down. It's eight o'clock in the morning. All right. I got my hair in a bun. It's all good. Put, put me face down on your car when you're doing a drive, uh, when you're working on something, you know, just listen, keep your mind empowered. Your input determines your output. But get your page off the ground. So when you learn, you use words like share or you post a link, OK, or you post something that has more words because you need to get it out there. Because in business, sometimes we need to get the message out there. Even Facebook is going to go or social media is going to go. Oh, there's too many words on that page. Sometimes we have to do that. Right. We just have to get that message out there. And so we still put it out there. But people are going to hear it. People are going to see it because we've kept our page overall in a good place. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Absolutely. Judy's talking about changing it up. Miss Sunny says, how long can you be on Facebook at a time? There was a time when Facebook put hours in place, but now I, I don't know if it's, I don't know. They keep changing it for me. For me, I, it used to be like, it used to be, Two hours was it, was it? I remember one time I was on a Facebook Live and they shut me down <laughs> and I just restarted it again. And then they made a change after that. Again, let me see what it says right now. Let's see if we can find it. How long can I? So right here, the last thing that was written here was November the 28th, 2019. How long can you do a record, uh, live on Facebook? Book. It says Facebook Live videos can currently be up to eight hours if you're recording on a desktop or four hours, if you're on a mobile phone, remember mobile phone has less options than your laptop. And that's another example of how it's something different there. So right now, as of the end of 2019, and it's probably the same four hours on Facebook mobile and um, eight hours on your desktop. All right. So there you go. But unless, but that's the stuff like, unless that you're, that is something like, you know, I think sometimes we need, we feel like we need to learn all the stuff before we actually do the stuff. But are you really going to go live for that long? Right? Think about it. All you need to know is that Facebook's good to go. And Sonia's already told me, go back CTA and watch my other videos. If you missed it, how long you should do a Facebook live for. Remember we talked about that in here, the ideal, but ideally the best thing that you can be doing is actually doing a Facebook live. All right. Shonda says she's doing or she's participating in a Facebook live auction frequently. And some of those. Yes. Yeah, so an auction. That's a great that's a great use of it. I know. Right. Yes, you can share. Absolutely. You can share. Oh, my goodness gracious. We're over here, like dancing around, like saying all the words besides the word share. And like I said, <laughs> When you're talking to people, just be straightforward to them. If I said to you right now, friends, I would love it. Send me up some hearts. Bomb me with some hearts right now because I tell you, I could use it right now. Rather than me like saying all the things around it, isn't it so much easier when people communicate to you straightforward and just say it? I would love it if you would, when this video is over and I've given you some value and if you love it, help me keep the doors open. If you would be so kind as to share this video, click the three dots, um, click the share link and post it on your social media to help our community here grow and stay afloat. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that, right? Sometimes we try to like, I don't know, we run circles around stuff. We don't need to do that. Don't make it confusing for your customers, okay? And that's why I started to say about restaurants, some of the best restaurants that are out there, they have the most simple things. You even know what you're going to pick before you even step into the restaurant because you've got like, I don't know, six selections right here, what's gonna be the meat or the meat op kind of option, right? You got the toppings. You got, you know, the filler and you already know before you get there because they've made it so simple for you and they're not trying to overcomplicate stuff. 
And so we have to not overcomplicate stuff. So we're talking about, if you're just joining us, call to actions. What is it that you want your audience to do next? Okay. You know where, where you want to grow. You know where you want them to go. What would really help you keep your business doors open and don't expect them to be a mind reader. So, some, so once you have your goal, then you want to specifically incorporate your goal as a call to action action on wherever, whether you're writing it out and you're a vlogger, whether you're a like B as in blogger, putting a text, whether you're a vlogger with a V like as in video, like I do a lot, I will speak whatever it is. So you just, whatever, whatever platform, whatever way that you're doing right for you, make sure you incorporate your CTA. So, and once you have your goal, so let's, let me give you an example to really, so you can really see this because I know you've seen other uh, businesses do this without even realizing what happens. And so once you understand, then you go, oh, that's how that works. That is how marketing works. Okay. So let's say, for example, I am, uh, let me think about something. Okay. I'm putting out a new course and, uh, oh, you know what? This is a great example because we see this a lot of times. Okay. There's, there's something new coming out. All right. And I'm, I'm saying to my people, all right, my call to action is I want people to know that when this launches, whether whatever it is, the product that I have, the uh, ebook that I have, the course that I'm doing, they can't get it right now. OK, they can't get it right now. And that's a whole other part of marketing. But they can't get it right now. So what my call to action is this week is to tell people to get on my wait list. They get on my wait list. My wait list is my email list. And that way, when my thing is ready, I, they are now on my email list. So then I can go ahead and send out my message to them. So for the entire week, I'm going out. Hey guys, it's Sonia. I got a new mug in my collection. All right. And we're just finishing these up. These are handmade. Do you see the woven fabric that's into it? We do these in my pottery studio. They are going to be ready probably in about a week to two weeks. I'm only going to make so many of them just to let you know, because I make hand make them. And there's only, there's a limit to what I can do. And um, if you're interested in one, I'm going to put the link up above or down below or go here and get on my wait list. OK, get on my wait list. And then when this mug opens up for sale, you will be the first person to know. That's what's called a sales funnel in big fancy terms. Right. That is a call to action and certain calls to actions lead to other things. So if your goal is to sell more mugs, one of the things that you can do is create a call to action that says get on my wait list, my, which is my email list. Now I've got your email captured. So down the road, when I want to use the power of email to put out a blast about this, you're already on there, right? That's why you see people say, you know, give me your email and I will send you a free, I know a free video, or I'll give you my email and I'll send you a PDF of my very best tricks for X, Y, Z. That all becomes part of a sales marketing strategy. All right. Your first thing is to figure out what your goal is. Now, if I have already got this made, my call to action could be friends, I'm doing my thing, right? Maybe let's, let's say, for example, this was my mug, all right? And we're doing our thing here now. And I say to you, friends, all right, so this is my latest mug. This is my latest creation. And yes, they're available on my Etsy store. Just put them on there or my website. Sonia would love you to have a website on my website. And I put the link up above. So if you'd love one, it's right there. All right, that was my call to action. I put the link. I showed you how to get there. I told you what it is. And I don't dwell on it like a, you know, like somebody who is in your face constantly in your face, right? When you do what you love, it just becomes so much easier to be able to sell, to build relationships because you are who you are. Say it with me. I'm going to get a shirt made that says I am what I am. Okay. With that with sweet potatoes on it, because I just love that saying when you are what you are, you are, you say it with me. I am what I am. Because I think potatoes are one of the most amazing vegetables out there. <laughs> so versatile that um, it just becomes easier to to not think of yourself as a salesperson. You have a product that helps other people, that brings joy to other people, right? And you, you stop getting caught up in the, let me whip my jacket open and show you all the, all the watches that I have for sale. It just becomes so much more natural because you're doing what you love anyhow. Yeah, like who wouldn't want a cool mug like this for $2.98, right? So whatever it is that you're doing, make that your call to action, your goal this week. So again, call to actions could be click this link, get on my email address. Here's a bunch that I wrote down. Okay. This morning I scribble as I drink my tea in the morning before I come on here. All right. So things like, so basically you're telling people, and let me just say this as well. Have you ever had like, <laughs> my husband's not here, right? If you ever like told your husband something and you might've used a bunch of different sentences <clears throat> and you might've did a, told him a whole paragraph and then, and then he goes and he looks for something, he can't find it. And you, and you just, then you shorten it up and you go, it's in front of the computer. The file's on the pile. 
of notes in front of the computer, right? Now you might have told them a million one things, or even your your child or somebody in your life, right? And you said all this stuff when really there's one simple thing that you really need them to do or to take action on, right? So be straightforward with it. The links up above, down below, share this video. I'd love it if you give me some hearts, you know? <clears throat> you can tell them, you know, click here to sign up for my upcoming webinar. All right, right here, my new bugs are out. Click here if you want to get one, all right? If you want to sip from one of these beauties in the morning. All right, um, you know, click here if you want to get on my email address. <clears throat> click here to read my uh, to read my blog. And you can say this, right? Here's the link to follow my blog. Um, if you want to get more uh, eyes on your website, you can say, I just built a new website. I'd love it if you guys would go check it out, right? But all these things, this don't all come into one, one video. You hear what I'm saying? You pick the one that you want to work on this week. Somebody out there right now is promoting a, co a course that they that is closing. Maybe they want people to jump into it before it closes. What do you think that their CTA is going to be this week? It's going to be the priority. It's going to be the most pressing thing, right? Whatever it is this week that you want to grow on, that make that the priority and, and talk about that CTA, all right? Um, if I want people to subscribe, that is a CTA. Would you, would you take a moment to subscribe to my channel? Would you take a moment to turn on your notifications so you never miss another video that I upload? Um, here is if you want to schedule a consultation with me uh, to potentially hire me for your service to do X, Y, Z for you. Here is the link. That's a call to action. Right. I do a whatever a free consultation. If you want to get on my list, click there. Um, I just did a podcast as an example. So you could say, you know what? I just did a podcast. Here's the link to my podcast. How about this one? I would love it. Somebody said it on here. I would love it if you would um, take a moment to leave a review. Stuff that we would love, right? That helps our business, you know, that helps our business out. And we're not, we're, we're expecting people to be mind readers. And we're sitting here just wishing and hoping that something would happen. The needle would move a little bit in our business in, you know, getting more followers, getting more reactions, getting more people to our Etsy page. Well, when was the last time that you promoted that specific thing? When was the last time that you had a CTA? So set your goal, your purpose for what you want to do this week. Where do you want to achieve a growth in this week, right? What do you want to see grow? Be very specific and pick one thing. Because if you get on a live video or you start posting all these things as examples, and there's more that you can come up with, right? You guys came up with your beginnings at the very end, at the very beginning. You will confuse your person and they will be like, uh-uh. So you know what? Remember, you're doing something, you're serving your customer, take care of them first because you'll be taken care of after. And when you take care of your customer, then you know what? You can say to somebody, you know what? If you loved what I did for you, would you take a moment to leave a review for me? That would be so amazing if you would. You know what? Why wouldn't they? You did something to help them, right? It just becomes so much more natural than when you stick it in the wrong place or you're asking them to do, 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 or not even nothing at all. And then you just did something. And you know what? You just wish in your mind that they would have taken a moment to write a review or something like that that you could use and they never did. And you, you have a missed opportunity, right? CTAs, CTAs, call to action. Say it with me. Yep, Michelle, I am what I am. Thank you, Brenda. She says, I love everything you do for us. Thank you for letting me know that. Debbie says, is there a minimum time for a live when you're just starting? Now, I talked about this before, Debbie. So go back, CTA, go back, catch up on the on the other videos. So I'm going to pull the audience here. Based on what I've shared with you guys before, if I were to ask you the question, well, you know, you're going to I'm going to say to you anyhow, going live for going live for two minutes is better than going live for nothing. But but ideally, what is it that I've shared with you guys? We're going to see if you're good students. All right. I'm going to ask you guys what ideally is a nice little nugget that I've shared before that you can work towards when you first go live. <clears throat> Cause you could go for four hours, eight hours, but ideally what have I told you guys before about like the, what's a good exactly Josh Jocelyn says 10 minutes minimum for lives because you can go going live is better than not going live at all. So if you can only suck it up for two minutes or one minute, do it. But it's nearly not going to help you that much because what happens is exactly, exactly. 10 being the minimum, <clears throat> 20 being ideal, <clears throat> 10, 20 ideal. OK, because what happens is the more that you are putting yourself out there and the robots and the algorithms, it gives time for Facebook to let there's a delay. So if there's like, I don't know, a 20 second, 30 second delay before your people pop up, because hello, as soon as you press the live button, it takes time 
for the platform to send the signals to all your phones, right? So if it takes 20, 30 minutes, you keep going because by the time the signal reaches them, Sonia also taught you in doing live, my best tips for live video, go back and watch that CTA, go back and watch that video that's right here on the channel. I gave you best tips for breaking it up, your header, your middle, your ending, right? Things to put into each of all of those. And so if you are only going live for a couple of seconds, I started to say, so when you do go live, even though there is a delay, and this is the first time you're hearing me say this, you still go because by the time that the signal reaches them, they don't want to see you just sitting there doing nothing going, I'm waiting for all the people to come on because that's, to me, that's just not a good use of your people's time. They're going to click off before you even get started, right? Serve the people that do show up and know that there's a delay, but as soon as you show up, they want the show to start now, all right? But if you're only going live for just a little bit, it's really not helping you serve your, your business because by the time, say, the Facebook algorithm puts it out there, you're already ended your video. They haven't even got a chance to put it out into the feeds of all the potential customers that will find you and love you. So I would go at least 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes. And then anything beyond that is just extra, you know, extra time for people to jump on board, right? So that is what you should aim for. Judy says, <clears throat> she's noticing that it takes six minutes for YouTube to notify me of your live. We do, we all have different devices. We all have different um, streaming services and different bandwidths and like how fast the information travels. Your job is to show up and do it right? Make sure you tell people like turn on your notifications. And yes, sometimes um, these sites mess up and they don't even like notify you, but you know what? Turn them on anyhow, because there's a good chance that they will on the days that they're actually working right. Right. So that way you, so if Judy doesn't get notified, she knows that they're later on in the day that there's something there that she can go watch, right? Turning on your notifications as a CTA. Naomi says, I was about to end my live yesterday and then someone came on. So I kept going. Absolutely. How many times do we do that? But it takes a little bit of time. We got to give the platform a chance to find people. And if you are somebody that goes on live and you're like, oh, my gosh, there's one person watching. There's only two people watching. Right. And you're like, I want to end it right now. That's normal. That's what happens when anybody goes live. The number starts off at one and two. All right. And the longer you go live, it just your life starts to race through all the all the think about all the little nerves that make up the Facebook world. OK, because all computer and all it goes and it blazes through the online world and it starts showing up in feeds. It takes people a moment. They, they might even see it in, in their feed ever hover on something for a little bit before they even click into it. So right now you're thinking nobody's there, but there could be somebody watching you. They just haven't clicked to initiate your live. So you keep going because they're going to go, what's she doing? You know what? I might watch that for a second right there. And then they click on it. So a lot of people, how many people, I mean, have you ever done this? Have you ever watched a video without actually ever going into a video because you don't want to turn the sound on and you know what? You're just laying there and you're just like, what are they doing? Oh, that's cool. And if it's something you really want to watch, you'll click on it. But there's a moment. So sometimes when we think nobody's watching, there might be people watching, right? Pam says, for those that join in your live later, should you continue to recap or tell them to watch on replay? I would, okay. So the audience that have watched, let me ask you this question right now. I know the answer, but I'm going to tell you. So if Pam, if your question right now is to me is, Sonia, what have you said so far? And if I started off, okay, guys, we're going to, so this is what I've talked about so far today. And a lot of you right now are getting anxiety because you're like, please, dear Lord, don't say that all again. You've been going for 47 minutes. Sonia, if you say that all again, I got to click off of here because I ain't got no time. I already took in what you said, right? You're going to turn off the people that are already here. That's the honest to goodness truth, right? You can say something. And if you go back and watch my video on lives, I say to you, you can do a quick recap. Guys, if you're just joining me here, we are talking about making sure you have a CTA. Are you lacking one? What is a CTA? And um, examples of what they are so that you can meet your goals, right? So yes. I'm going to tell you, you can do a, not even necessarily a giant recap, say it in a couple sentences, what you're doing for the new people that come on, because the people in the comments will help each other, right? If I'm, if I said 5 million times that I'm using, using X, Y, Z, and somebody comes on new, you guys are going to see when somebody new pops on in the comments below, you're seeing it right now. And a lot of you guys will say, oh, she's talking about this, or, oh, she's using the color Bahama Jade today. Um, or she, this is the milk paint she's using. No, no. She mixed that up in the beginning. You missed that part, Right. The conversation happens. So your show continues. Do you think that if a show, this is, this is, and I'll leave this. Do you think that if you went to a movie, 
Do you think if you went to a onstage production of something and somebody is late to the video, they didn't turn on their notifications. So I'm going to tell you, make sure you su you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, turn on your notifications. So, you know, as soon as I go live, so you can join me at the very beginning. So you don't feel left out later on in the day, right? That's a CTA, right? But if somebody had a movie playing and it had a production going on stage and they came late and all the actors went, okay, all right, somebody new is in the crowd here. Okay, reset, let's start again, let's start again. No, all right? Because, and part of being a business owner is showing up, right? So for those of you who are saying right now, well, I'm missing this and I'm missing that. Well, you gotta make, trust me, getting up to go live at eight o'clock in the morning felt very unusual to me, but you do what you gotta do, right? You make a goal and you do it and you stick to it. And so if you're missing videos, make sure you get up earlier, make sure you plan a time of the day to listen to it on your way home or when you're creating um, so you get all the fuel that you need, right? But you never stop a production in the middle because somebody else is just joining you. You can do a quick recap, very, very quick recap. And I'm not talking about from the beginning, right? But we will all talk, right? And in the comments and help each other people, help each other out. Uh, let's see here. Sandy says, I'm old school. I chat comment like I'm texting. Is that too much? I chat, com I comment like I'm texting. No, why would that be? You mean like when you're on other videos or how do you mean when you're doing it for yourself in business? Um, Judy says, I do that to watch and decide if I want to watch it or not. Yeah, you think nobody's there and somebody's watching you on the, on the other side. They just don't want to click into your video, right? Yep, and that is a big thing. And that's why, um, that's why if you ever see people put captions on videos, the reason why is if you're talking on a video, you know, studies have shown now that people want to watch videos, but they don't even want to turn the, the, the volume up. They will watch on the other side. So if you have captions on a video, that's a great way for them to do. You're basically getting through to the people that are even out there beyond that window film in your, you know, the, the window that's that's around you on your uh, Facebook feed. And they're not clicking. They're not opening the door, but it's a way for the message to get through the door. OK, through the window in the door. Sandy, when I'm live, I'm commenting a lot. Wondering if it's too annoying. You mean when you're going live, you're commenting into when you're when live, I'm commenting a lot, wondering if it's too annoying. You mean you're typing out stuff? I wouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't do that. I think, too, we see people who, um, you know, I think it's annoying when you have a video that you're doing. If I, I mean, I looked up some stuff on my phone, but I would for you guys because you asked, but I would not be over here going. All right. Oh, my gosh, I just got a text from, um, from my sister. You know, like when when you're doing this. Don't be down here commenting. Don't be down here doing IT stuff down here. Focus on your people. The show. You got a show going on. All right. Stay focused on your people right here in the front section. Francis. All right. We're going to pull the audience here. Francis is just joining, which is awesome because you're a great example, Francis. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. She says, just joining in. I'm sure it's been asked, but what is a CTA? So if I kept talking right now, about CTAs, chances are somebody would go ahead, like there, there's Kim, she's already got it there, call to action, right? So that's a good example of how that works. And yeah, so we're at the very end. And so we were talking about a CTA today, a call to action, figure out your goal, uh, examples of call to, calls to actions and how it can help. So I want you to figure out what your goal is this week. Where do you wanna see the, move, 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 the needle move in your business, whether it's followers, whether it's likes, engagements, more traffic to your website, more traffic to your Etsy, fill in the blank. You want more subscribers, whatever it is, and then make that plan as part of when you're putting out your content this week to ask people to, um, to click here or to um, do whatever it is, right? Sign up. Whatever it is, you fill in the blank. <laughs> Francis is glad to help. No, perfectly. Your timing was perfect because we were just talking about uh, that very example of how when you go live, people show up at different times. That's just what's going to happen, right? Completely natural. All right, my friends. Well, I hope this has served you well. Did you learn something new today? Give me a yes if you have learned something new today because that just keeps me going because I love to teach other people and I love hanging out with other people who especially get what I'm saying because it's no fun talking to yourself, right? So I hope I'm making a difference in your life and your business. And when you make a difference in your business, you make a difference in your life. And for a lot of us, life is business. It's hard to even separate where life ends off and business starts or ends, right? And that's when business becomes, becomes fun. Remember how I said in the beginning about, are you in the right business? 
And we, I asked, I asked you a bunch of questions. There's a whole video devoted to that and to help you, you figure out if you're in the right business. Um, because if it brings you joy and it brings you love, you're not even going to feel like you're working. It's going to be an amazing thing, right? And when you serve from your heart and you're authentic, you can learn, you can learn things all day long here about like, I need to buy this app. If Sonia even, well, listen, we're 29 days into it. Have I ever told you that you need to buy a certain app or download something to make your business work? I'm going to tell you, business started off long ago before social media, right? Business has been in the works for a long time before we sat down today. And um, there are certain truths, truths of business that hold to what they are, right? And it doesn't matter if you have a fancy computer. It doesn't matter if you have a fancy phone, because businesses are made and built when you're serving somebody else and connections are made and relationships are built, right? Go back to ground zero, go back to the, the most basic things. And that's what I teach. And that's how I grow. That's how I've grown a very strong business because I've made, I've made um, just good roots, right? I've made good connections. I've made friends with people who are my customers. And I've always put my love goggles on to the point of how can I serve them? Because when you get that part right in your business, it becomes a whole lot easier. Don't hide. I hope you put yourself out there this week. I hope you show people who the awesome person that runs that business, who you are, and get a little bit more involved on camera. Tell them about you and give them a reason um, why your business stands out compared to somebody else's, that what you're doing is different, right? Because you're different. So how can anybody else be just like you? They can't. They absolutely cannot. Michelle says she's seeing a difference. I love it. Thank you very, very much. Lauren says, thank you, Sonia. Thank you for helping everybody grow their business. I love it. I love it. Made my day. Good deal. So quick note, I did see that we got the community tab. I did post in it yesterday at the beginning of the, of the video. I showed you where it lives. Go in and post your name and your business page every day. I'll be posting stuff there as well. It's like the Facebook wall that you can check every day here um, on YouTube on our community it's the community chat portion. You guys can talk back and forth with each other and there's no video. Like you can just like have conversations. It's wonderful. All right. Very nice. And my call to action, of course, that I always say to you guys, because this is the truth. This helps me stay, keep doing what I'm doing and showing up for you guys. If you would take a moment to share this video somewhere with a friend, maybe somebody who has their own uh, business and they're struggling like tell them to come join us in the morning. How nice is, it, nice is it to see you and a friend connecting and you can have conversation in the comments that day, right? And just hang out. This is a community hangout every single morning. So please take a moment to share this video. I would love it if you would hit the three dots or the uh, share link down below and post it somewhere to encourage somebody else that they don't have to be alone. All right, with that, go make it happen. And I'll see you back here tomorrow morning for some uh, more chit chat, my friends. See ya. With that, yes, everyone go create. I like it.